Hey, what's up? I'm Ines Alea from ToleratedCinematics.com and today we'll be talking about my top 5 most favorite new features in Adobe Premiere Pro CC 2018. If you enjoy my videos, be sure to hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to make sure that you get notified when I upload new videos. Alright, so Adobe released a new update for Adobe Premiere Pro and it has a bunch of new features that came out on 18 October 2017 and I'm going to be talking about my favorite new features that they have included. So the first feature that I'm going to be talking about is that they now allow you to open multiple projects at the same time. This got me excited for multiple reasons, but the main reason that this really got me excited is that I do plenty of YouTube tutorials, like you might have noticed, um, but I have to return to a previous project like all the time to pick like my intro, my outro, some music, uh, some lower thirds, and I try to pick everything from that project, but I have to open it up, open a new project, it's just a mess, and it does waste a lot of time. So they just released this new update that allows me to open two projects at the same time, and then I can just import something from the previous project into the new project and have everything in my project manager. It's so easy, so simple, and I just love it. Uh, especially if you're going to do repeated work, if you do something like over and over again, having multiple projects, awesome. The second feature is also really exciting called responsive time. And here you are allowed to actually readjust the time of something that you have created, that you have animated, and it makes it like dynamic. So for example, you create an introduction, uh, a little text in this, at the start of your video, and it fades in or it like comes from the top down in the center of your screen. And then when it's done after five seconds, it will disappear by moving itself off the screen downwards. So you've got a simple animation in your title. But now let's say the five seconds, it takes a little bit too long. So you want to shorten this to two to three seconds. So what you do is you take all the keyframes for the outro where the position is actually going off screen. You take all these keyframes, you move them to three seconds. Then you take the clip and you move them to three seconds. It's a lot of time waste. And especially if you're going to make templates or stuff like that, that other people are going to use and they want to readjust the time. So now what they allow you to do is actually select your intro part and your outro part. And this is going to be like frozen together. So uh, it's not going to be able to adjust itself. So the keyframes are going to stay in position. But if you trim your clip and you make it shorter or longer, the outro animation is going to be exactly the same but just later or sooner in time, which is absolutely amazing. I love this update. It's really simple to do. If you don't know how to do it and you would like a tutorial on this, let me know in the comments below and I might make a tutorial on how to do this responsive time effect. Uh, well, it's not an effect, but it's really handy, especially if you're going to work um, with something uh, multiple times if you want to create like templates and stuff like that. So then the third feature is the responsive positioning. And this is actually where you can actually bind one of the items, one of the layers in Essential Graphics. Uh, for example, you have two text layers. You can bind the second text layer to the first one and you can, of course, align it to the left or the center. And then it's just going to stick to the first title. So let's say you move the first title or you scale it up or down. The second title is just going to move along with it. And this is something really basic, but this is only available in the latest version of Premiere. Uh, something really simple, I know, but it's really handy, especially if you're going to be working with lower thirds and stuff like that. If you have a main title and a subtitle and you want to move it around again, you don't have to do everything separately and you can just do it that way. Then the fourth feature is the improved Essential Graphics workflow. Um, as I said, uh, Essential Graphics is fairly new and they have to go through a lot to fine tune it. So each update is going to allow us to work a little bit better and easier with Essential Graphics. Things that you might think that are very easy and normal to have included, uh, they might not have thought about it and and seeing how everybody is using essential graphics right now uh, makes them able to do these updates so really simple stuff manipulating multiple layers at one time where you can just select multiple layers in the essential graphics and modify the font for example or the color um, previously you had to do everything separately again which was a pain but yeah 
uh, simple stuff like that they included it uh, also credit rolls are available right now and you can also add a favorite uh, textile so for example you work a lot with a particular font for me that is Lado I love the font Lado and let's say I want to use it often in a red color and I want to have like um, the the black version of the font I can all prepare this and then I can favorite this and then in my next project I can just select it very easily out of the favorites a selection tab so really simple stuff like this but it really helps to improve the workflow of your projects and I see this becoming better and better with each update that they are going to release because essential graphics is so awesome I swear I love it it's a great great feature that you don't have in other editing softwares then lastly uh, it's a very simple update as well but it's really important for us because especially we sell essential graphics templates and a lot of people that want to use essential graphics only have premiere or they don't want to install um, after effects um, because they don't have enough space on their computers but yeah um, previously you needed after effects to be installed on your computer luckily it was also possible with a trial version of after effects otherwise people had to pay for something that they actually don't use just to be able to uh, use a template but now you don't need after effects installed anymore you can just use any essential graphics that is created within after effects and you can just use it in premiere pro without having after effects without having it installed even and you can just modify the text modify everything in the essential graphics and it's entirely made in after effects which i think is really really awesome uh, especially because again we sell these templates and we had a lot of customers um, that had Premiere that were very experienced in Premiere Pro but they have never used After Effects and they are actually not interested in learning After Effects so they just wanted to use this template and they didn't have After Effects installed and they were obligated to um, yeah, install After Effects and of, of course lucky that they could install the trial but it takes up space it takes up it's just pretty useless so uh, for me this was a very cool feature that they included um, yeah to be able to do that without having it installed so if you don't have after effects installed and you want to use essential graphics now is your chance go and get them at our website again this really does help to support our channel and to allow us to create better and more frequent content and that's actually what i want to do i want to release everything that i know my knowledge and i want to make sure that you guys can create some really epic stuff and yeah even if you don't have the knowledge to create epic templates and after effects if you don't have the years of experience in there but you want to create a nice flashy intro or whatever lower thirds you can do so with the essential graphics that you can buy on our website so yeah that's what i have for you in this video i hope you enjoyed it if you did give this video a like and definitely subscribe to the channel for more and then i'll see you in the next one goodbye